big bee chick, but she be twerking like a Lena. What do you mean I'm on that L? Did you back when you can never catch an L? When I white see the rap, wait, wait. Shorty, let me pull up to your bumper. Anywhere we go, sirens like a cup car. When we in the club, we be steady turning up. Ma, I got my head spinning like the blaze on the top. Brenda. You know my I go to church, right? Every Sunday, every How Sunday. How you doing, man? Days. I'm good, I'm good, I'm, I'm good. It's been a while, you've just been off. I've You've been, been traveling. I've like... been lucky, I've been lucky, I've not been What's traveling. Lucky, <laughs> What's lucky, man? Yeah, you know, you How's know. How's it feel, man? It feels good, you know, to How be you back in the Because you are a street guy, yeah. You're there street all the time, man, so I mean, I know my feeling. Let me say, you know, I was saying, I learned, I learned round about you, Keja. Okay. <laughs> How far? Oh, no, you no, no, no. Yes, it's why you're on the field later today. We'll yeah, come yeah, yeah, break. yeah. And when we come back, we're going to get down to the real business. We're going to ask them a very few questions. They got to each of the hearts in a long while. Walking. Yes, this is here, I see. And they call this one Zagaban. <laughs> Welcome back. Why she was good, man? Oh, we good. You know, we got our day. We got our day. Got How's the London trip been so far? You're I mean, London at all. Yeah, we thank God. We were able to, you know, achieve everything we set out to do out there. Uh, I did a couple of radio interviews. I hosted a radio show for the BBC. You know, going to the studio with UG, a couple of other artists on that side. And I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was work, but you know, when you love what you're doing, you make work seem like play. So yeah, it was all cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, 2015, 2015 was that year, you know, that music, you know, my, my level in the industry pretty much, it went from underground, past off coming to like, you know, top notch pretty much. And, I mean, I think that's that's the point every young artist is looking forward to, you know, to put out music and have people that actually want to listen to your music. People that, you know, they're looking forward to you putting out music and people that go crazy anytime they see you performing on stage. So, I mean, 2015 was a really, really massive year for me. And, you know, I thank God for all the success that came my way. And up until this point, still remaining relevant, still putting out music, you know, just released the EP. Juice is doing really well, you know, the singles have been doing really, really well, yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's an amazing feeling, trust me. How do you feel when, when, you, when you release songs and they're just everywhere? I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's just like training so hard for a football match and you go into the stadium, you go and you score and you win, you know, you win the match, so it goes to show that, you know, the work you put in, the time you put into making that song, you know, dope for the fans, the fans actually appreciated that work. And, I mean, we thank God, you know, Juice, Juice has surpassed, you know, any previous expectations I had. So now for, the, for my music, I just, I just always think about the best thing, you know, anytime I'm putting out music. Okay, so now, I, I want to ask you this. Yeah. How did Tiny sport? Well, I mean, you know, Tiny is, Tiny is somebody that I have known for a very long time, even before I knew I wanted to do music. You know, his younger brother, his younger brother and myself, we went to secondary school together, so at the time I put out, you know, I was pretty much an underground artist, just hustling on the low, putting out music, sharing Bluetooth, we drop songs, you know, say, ah, Baba, hear this song, send to everybody in the neighborhood. So his brother played the song for Tiny. At the time, Tiny was starting up Tiny Entertainment. And he listened to it and he liked it, and, you know, he offered me a record deal. And at the time, I was pretty much like an understudy to the label. I was signed. But I was still going through artist development because there were other artists on the label. And 2012, I became the major artist on the label, and you know, I released my first video in 2012. And I've been pushing. We've been pushing music from that point up until 2015. And you know, 2015. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, definitely. Even aside from marine biology, I'm still, you know, looking at creating time to go. 
for another course that is a lot more inclined with music. So in the sense that, you know, eventually when I'm not active as a musician, I can still, you know, decide to go into the media, probably production or set up a media company with that qualification. So the funny thing is I actually got my record deal before I got admission into Unilag. So I, I was already, you know, putting out music. I was already an active artist before I started, you know, going to classes and all that. So it, it, a lot of people think, you know, People are always asking, how do you balance school with music? But the thing was, I had to balance music with school. So I just, I just had to find a way to infuse all that into my previous schedule. And you know, it's pretty much most of my management that helps out. You know, when I have to be in school, they cover everything on the music front. And when I have to, you know, it's just about time management, pretty much. <laughs> my dad is late though, but you know, my mom is, my mom is still very much alive. She, she listens to my music. She provides them, there are times she will listen to some songs and she'll be like, yeah, I think you should shoot a video for this song, you know, do this and... Also, your mom even tells you sometimes it's a video. Yeah, yeah. So which other yeah. songs do you have that like, you have videos right now? She told you to shoot a video for. Uh, I think, you know, I haven't shot anyone that she's... It's probably some of the old songs, because she's always like, this song you put out in 2014 that nobody was listening to you at the time. You know, why don't you bring the song back and... Yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, you know, you have to... Pass, right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know, great, that kind of level. That kind of level. Very good, very good. Yeah. So right now, all the time, you're doing a whole lot of stuff. Now, I want to go back to when you were growing up, basically. Yeah. Papa's gone right now. How, how was your hustle like? How, 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 how did you even get into music? What were your struggles when you were trying to even break out? You know, I think for me, it's, I won't say, say I'm one of those that, you know, had a hard life, you know. But at the same time, I won't say I was from a rich home. I think my mom and my family around me just tried their best. Everyone chipped in one way or the other to make sure Myself and my siblings were, you know, relatively comfortable. And I mean, when I finished secondary school, you know, I didn't get into uni the same year I finished secondary school. So I was doing a couple of odd jobs. I worked at the cyber cafe. I worked for a bit at like a fast food joint. And I was doing, I was pretty much just doing anything to just survive and make ends meet. So at the time, when I was working at the fast food joint, they wanted to kill me. No, wake up for money. What, 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 what fast food joint was that? No, it wasn't. It's not a popular one. It's just, you know, one of all these, you know, this area kind area of, kind of Yeah. Area. So I used to go there, wake up for money, you know, clean the place, wash just be wash kitchen, still cook, still serve the restaurant. The only thing I know they do, they know they pay me. No, we meet and they pay direct. When it okay. comes time to pay the, the yeah. they will just pay the receptionist. You know, like from the customers. Now. Yeah. You know when you chop in, they say your money is this. Say okay, pay to this person. You know. I'm glad I didn't know if the money reached my hand, I could just take off. So, I mean, I, was, I think I was doing more than I was being paid for. So, I just I quit that job and I started recording music. And I think in 2011, 2012, that's when I started, you know, being an active musician. I was performing at parties here and there, you know, used to perform at events in the neighborhood, just trying to get that popularity. And, I mean, by the end of the year, I was able to get a record deal with Chinese Entertainment, release my first video, and that kind of so. I think the, the, the struggle pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Wow, what's up? This guy yeah. likes you so much. Have fun, Ajay. Are you going to do your thing with the next one? Dread gang, dread gang, dread gang. I am the truth. Body back all that I leave in the booth. I go way harder than hard, way harder than hard, harder than I go way madder than mad, way madder than mad, madder than mad. I think my major struggle was being signed to a label that you know people didn't really know. At the same time, I was a very new artist on the scene, so it was just that struggle to get people to pay attention to listen to the music. And, you know, over the years, we released a lot of music, like from 2012 to 2014. Like, music, music videos, everything was coming out. So, we took a break, and in 2015, we restructured, you know, the label restructured majorly. I went back into the studio, worked on my sound, worked on my brand as an artist, and in 2015, in 2015, you know, I think, I would say I came back, back and better, and that's when, you know, the music, you know, caught the attention of a lot of people, and, I mean, I've been You're here right now. Here right now. Yes, 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 yes. You see no more people at the back of the time. Yeah, take pictures. Yeah, I see. I'm a 
Lord Zimo Rilano. Yeah, she look you nice, go. But the Phoebe makeup, so you don't believe the hype, bro. And ask me what I like, uh. I ain't got no type, Joe. And some your type of thing, and now she know if he's sleeping night, what? Welcome back. So, right now, you know what? I, now, these guys are all looking at I have a lot of guys who want to show pictures for you, is that it? Now, from what you've experienced so far, yeah. what would you say the growth of an artist would be like? Basically, you love artists on the street right now. We won't blow. What's the growth of an artist be like? You, you understand the music business with what you told me. Yeah, I mean, I feel, I feel, you know, as. An artist, the, the, the levels you need to break through before you get to that, you know, level of stardom, like top notch stardom. You know, first of all, you start from underground, like that's like the starting point. You know, because I don't think there's anybody that from the first song you just dropped, you became an overnight star. It's something that takes gradual process because you learn how to master the craft. You know, there's things you need to learn before to cross every level. So from underground artists. Then, you know, you move to the level of the artist that you have the attention of the people now. The people have actually, okay, this guy, you know, he has the prospects, you have the potential, you have the talent. So people recognize that fact about you. Then from that level, you now get to the level of where, you know, you get popularity and fame. And where did you grow up from? Where did you grow up? First start. Oh, first start. Not born. The, the hospital with them born me did first start. So, so, yeah, all my life I lived in first start. So, from that level, then where everything is, you get to the level of like top, like when you're at the top, that's where you have, you know, hit songs, hit singles. People, know you, people know you all around, you know, you can't take one or two steps without somebody saying, ah, yo, can I get a picture? Or, you know, there's somebody that will actually recognize you in one way or the other. So, yeah. Oh, your EP's out right now. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I, feel, I mean, I feel. I love some juice, man. Yeah, I feel, I feel so good, you know, at least to finally put out. A body of work that lets people under, further understand my talent because you know if you put out one song and you put out another song it's, it's hard for people to fully understand what you are about exactly so I think with a body of work that's what I tell a lot of people because people ask you know when should an artist put out an album or when should an artist put out a body of work I say man anytime you can even the first thing you even drop can be an album at least that way people you know get a full they get a better feel of your talent they get a better feel okay see now we think you guys happy with this, you can do this. So I mean, putting the EP out, you know, it just is a learning process. A lot of people have, you know, written reviews. There's been, you know, good comments. There have been comments that have been not as good, but I mean, yeah, everything is a point. Me de, me de caso ya, me de caso ya. Yeah, big shout out, big shout out. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's a good thing for me because now, you know, I'm judging from the reaction of people, so I know what to do moving forward. I know the kind of music people want to hear. I know the kind of music the people are looking out for. And, you know, there's been points that a lot of people have pointed out and I'm definitely going to act on. So it's, it's great. It's great. It's been great all through. So, now that you if you're going to choose, like, a job on the street, hmm. would you be a conductor, a food seller, a water seller? Which one would you be? Oh no, man, you check out. If I did drive in, if I did do any transfer work, last night we don't, and we don't shut me down. So yeah, 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 I do this. Yeah, I do this. All this stuff. I'm going to have to work on the street, man. I'm going to be a vulcanizer. Oh. <laughs> the pump tire. <laughs> you know? You don't pump tires. Ah, no, I said, you know, be a good guy, change tires, and I will see everybody if it's a view. You know, they got to post. Every now and then, you're losing them, you know, use jack, everything. I know the work, bro. If you see any car break down for you, for you, just go change the tire for you. Maybe you know I see the good, you say, we start with the work. What's your advice to people out there who want to be like you? I mean, to, to a lot of people that want to be like me, because there's, there's always people out there like, you know, I'm a YC, YC, you know, I like your success story, the way you came up and everything. It's, it's something a lot of people draw inspiration from. So, I just, you know, I like to tell everybody that in my own case, patience is something that, you know, really, really paid off for me, because, I mean, I've been putting out music since 2012, and it wasn't until 2015 that, you know, we started getting back what we put into the industry. So. I mean, you have to be very, very patient, you know. It happens for some people in a year, happens for some people in less than a year. It happens for some people in like four or five years. 
So it's just time, all these things take time. If you believe in your craft, if you're good at what you do, and you know by yourself, you know, a lot of people, like, because there's people that are not really supposed to be doing music, that find themselves, that are just trying to force it. So, I mean, I believe if you are good, you, you yourself should be able to tell yourself that this is going to pay off. And just trust in God, be hardworking, you know, try to be as humble as possible, because character is what's going to make people love you, even when your music is, you know, not where it should be. Your character is something that everybody's going to take into consideration. So. That's what I have to say. Thank you so much for coming Yeah. So we just tell us your social media handles. You know. Yeah, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at I am underscore YC. Facebook at I am YC. And, you know, follow us for the streets. So the streets now. How would it go? Follow them on the streets. Just carry me go chop some kind. You know. uh, just put me for streets. You <laughs> she say, don't worry, I'll catch you next time. <laughs> now, yeah, I'll come do your own streets. We'll carry you, we'll carry you go first time. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you can go follow me on Twitter, you can go follow me on Twitter. So let me give it to you real quick. You know I am legend like Will Smith. So get them other boys up your neck, cause we out of this world. Neptune on deck. I'm gonna give it to you on your bumper. I'm gonna give it to you on your bumper. I'm gonna give it to you on your bumper. Bum bum bum. I'm gonna give it to you on your bumper. I'm gonna give it to you on your bumper. I'm gonna give it to you on your bumper. I'm gonna give it to you on your bumper. I'm gonna give it to you on your bumper. I'm gonna give it to you on your bumper. I'm gonna give it to you on your bumper. I'm gonna give it to you on your bumper. I'm gonna give it to you on your bumper. I'm gonna give it to you on your bumper. Chaka-pan, ain't nobody but I done Got them niggas shivering like winter, no, nah, I'm a